Right, lads, Eurovision. The voting is about to start. Docs does Eurovision part two. Here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, it isn't. It's if they're still singing. Sorry, I turned on. I ain't been watching it. And uh, they're still singing. So the voting doesn't start. Never mind. Right, actually, no, I might have got it right. Because um, they're just whizzing past the voting now. This must just be like a, a tribute act. Tribute act to Eurovision or something. What the fuck is she wearing? These lads are like a really shit pet shop, boys. I mean, really shit. This lad just predicted the UK would win Eurovision. And you think my predictions are terrible? They would just tell me that I'm the only one that saw that. <laughs> what the hell just happened there? I thought this was part of the act at first. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's actually a bit different to what it used to be. I don't know if it was like this last year because I didn't watch it, but um, they only give the 12 points live. Portugal are running away with this already, man. They're already in a commanding lead. They don't even need Ronaldo. It's like Euro 2016 all over again. Oh my goodness, I mean, they, if they let this slip now already, I mean, seriously, this is, this is crazy. They are literally running away with it. Alright, here they come, here they come. Italy were tipped as firm favourites before this started, now they're making a run. That is some strong fake tan now. That is some strong fake tan on that girl. Graham Norton sweating heavily. <laughs> there was me thinking these two lads are gay. They've hit on every single female presenter so far. Getting a little bit creepy. She just called him handsome. Yep, there we go again. That's what, the sixth time now? Jesus Christ. They want a bit of that. Oh my. I am officially starting to reconsider my position on Brexit. There's another 12. I mean, I've called this since, like, the third country. These guys, I don't know what their act was, but, uh, bloody hell, they're running away with it. Um, why are Australia in Eurovision? There's a reason why viewing figures are dropping. Who thought that was a good idea? Oh, my goodness. Take back what I just said there. Australia, you can take part next year if you want. Jesus Christ, we got 12! Them lads wanted to see some pussy, and they got a puppy instead. Hard luck, boys. And that right there is the dagger. Portugal, Eurovision 2017 winners. Hardly surprised. Good night. That dress looks like my bath rug. What is she doing? Hey, Spain, Spain finally got off the mark. I need to get a single vote from the first part, and they've literally only just got these five points. Is that a pato? Is that a pato? All right, this is it. Portugal or Bulgaria. One of those two are going to win the championship. Oh, my God. This is it. Who's going to win it? Oh, no, 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 Portugal held on to it. It was never really in doubt, though, was it? Do you know what I mean? They ran away with it so comfortably with the first part of the voting. Like, it was so unlikely they wouldn't top the second part as well. Right, that's it then, lads. Eurovision 2017 won by Portugal. Once again, I've got no idea why I did this. Good night. <laughs>